What about all the kids in the foster care system? You can't be pro-life until you adopt every single kid in the foster care system. Hi, I'm Brianna, and I was in the foster care system when I was younger. I would just like to say, stop using my story to justify abortion. I can tell you with 100% certainty that I'd rather be here than dead. This is arguably the most common response I get from pro-abortion advocates when I say that I'm pro-life. And it is wrong on so many levels. First of all, the purpose of the foster care system is to reunite families. It is a temporary placement of children and youth with families outside their own home due to child abuse or neglect. The goal is to provide a safe, stable, nurturing environment. While many are adopted from foster care, the purpose is to reunite families. Sometimes parents just need time to get their lives adjusted and back on track. Now, something pro-abortion advocates never talk about is adoption through an adoption agency. Right now in the United States, there are an estimated 2 million couples on a wait list to adopt, which means there are about 36 couples for every one child. There is not an epidemic of unwanted children. They just need to convince you that there is so they can justify killing millions of babies every year. While it is true that the foster care system is imperfect, this does not justify abortion. Can we kill a child because there's a possibility that at some point in their life, he or she may need to be in the foster care system? Why would you kill somebody so that they never suffer? Is dying really better than living a difficult life? No, death is not a solution to suffering. No one should get to decide who lives and who doesn't. And how privileged is that stance? Well, I have a good life, I'm happy, and I definitely deserve to live but those who are worse off than me, yeah, they should probably just die. Are you kidding me? And if pro-abortion advocates cared so much about the state of the foster care system, why aren't they working to improve it? Oh, oh, right. Because they don't actually care. Anytime somebody uses this argument, just ask them to think about what they said for a moment. They are saying that those who may suffer are better off dead. That is the root of this argument. They are using the foster care system as a justification to kill somebody because they are a burden, they need protection and care. When we are addressing this issue, we must identify what the actual problem is and work to improve it. The problem is maybe that the foster care system is not awesome. The problem is not that the baby exists. We need to shift our focus on what the actual issue is instead of blaming the innocent, precious child for all of the problems in the world. These babies already exist from the moment of conception, but our circumstances do not define our humanity. We all go through hard seasons in life. It is inevitable. Suffering is a natural part of the human condition. We all suffer in different ways throughout our lives. As fellow human beings in this flawed world, we should always work to eliminate suffering when and where we can, but never eliminate those who suffer. It is so offensive for people who have been in the foster care system to be told that they are better off dead. These kids are not a drain on our society deserving of death. They are humans who happen to need a little help in order to get through some tough circumstances. Whether they end up being placed for adoption or they end up back with their parents, they still deserve the best chance at life like everybody else. And millions of these kids grow up to have good and happy lives. While I can walk you through the flawed logic of this argument, one thing that I cannot do is relate. I understand that I am not gonna sit here and pretend that I know what it's like to live in the foster care system. So instead, I want you to hear from somebody who does. Tell me about your experience when people use this argument in person, whether it's at Planned Parenthood while you're sidewalk counseling or on college campus since you're the Students for Life president. So you're tabling and having these conversations. Well, since I'm standing out there a lot and I'm at the campus a lot, one of the most offensive arguments I hear is that the foster care system is overcrowded. And so basically it sounds like to me that they think I would be better off dead. Right. And it's interesting to me when they use that argument of it's too crowded, who are you to say that, you know, oh, we've hit the limit of people that we should help, right? There's officially too many families mm -hmm. that are need. It's overcrowded, right? It's like, why, are, why do you get to say that when it's serving its purpose as an in-between for these families to have the cushion in order to hopefully be reunited at the end? It's 
weird, right? It, yeah, it is weird. And yes, foster care is difficult, but you know, it served its purpose for me. My parents, they hit their milestones. Mm-hmm. They completed their progress. And the whole goal of it was for me to be reunited. That's the mm-hmm. same for all of the foster care children mm-hmm. is to be reunited with their parents. Right. And you know, this argument that all the foster care system should be adopted. Right. I'm just like, that's not even how it works. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's like, you don't just waltz and grab a kid and go. Right, right, exactly. Because, I mean, most of them probably wouldn't even want that, right? No. Like, I mean, imagine if somebody, some social justice warrior showed up and they're like, you know what, Bri- Brianna, I'm going to save you. I'm going to bring you home. You're mine. You would have been like, ah. Yeah, and uh, let's wait a little bit. You know, like, I don't really want to go with you. <laughs> it's hard enough to be with the strangers at right. foster care. Right, exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your experience. I think that this argument, while is seemingly compassionate, I'm sure you can attest, is kind of the opposite. Yeah, the one time I was, like, really feeling like I was sharing my story Open and they were up. listening, <laughs> they ended up saying, oh, boo-hoo, you little foster care oh kid, gosh. suck it up. Like, they don't care about the foster care kids. Right. They care about abortion. Mm -hmm. And when I use this argument, they're, like, immediately get defensive, and then they just, like, stomp off because they don't care. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What would you say the bottom line is, right? Like, if people are trying to have conversations with people, what would you say is your one or two sentences of how you would respond to this, right? Like, in your opinion, why is the foster care system a terrible argument to justify abortion? It's a terrible argument for two reasons. The first is because it denies the whole purpose of the foster care system. And the second is just because I was struggling or poor or in need of protection does not mean that I or any other foster child deserves death. Circumstances change, life gets better, and where there is life, there is hope. But abortion is permanent. Abortion leaves no room for hope. Choosing life is not always easy, but it is always right.